Solomon Young. Here's Young with his first touch. That basketball for Iowa State. Here's Santos Silva. They swing it around McClung. Nice bounce pass to the freshman PV. And even if you're watching on a laptop or a computer at home. Coming up on three and a half minutes gone. They go through those stretches where they, they can't get stops or they get really cold offensively. And then at the end of these games, they've just been... It's his favorite time of year. And he's really created a system where it's about getting better at the right time. Back to his own high school coach, Mike Kunstadt from Irving High School in Texas. Boy, it's, it's great that he's playing so well. And this is something that Coach Beard wanted about five or six games ago. He got him where he wants him at this point in the season success with them, taking him to two Big 12 conference tournament titles. Well, yeah, Rich, he's seen both sides. And Iowa State did a good job of not rushing, surveying the defense, and finding a good play. Texas Tech's ball club, all you have to do is move, and one of your teammates will find you. Clear in the season, but it also speaks to his system of getting guys ready on us. Kyler Edwards over his last five games, 50% trust him defensively. You see him there switching out on the small, which you don't see a lot. It's Number 13, Javen Johnson, the transfer from Troy. Which is affecting their defense. There's Johnson for the Iowa State Cyclones. They've made just one of their last 13 field goal attempts. They're riding a 23-game road losing streak. It's one of the longest. That is about in terms of unselfishness. Important games, the end of the season, the postseason, and so on. So he wants his team to feel comfortable in those pressure passages. Yeah, but you'll take it. Nadaldi did a good job of finding him, and he got a... Here's Edwards. No, just guys being a little bit overzealous at times, trying to do a little too much. Typically do... In Big 12 play, they are 0-16 and riding a 23-game road losing streak. Here's McClure. He excels on the offensive end. That's just too easy to guard if you take his tech. 10 on the shot clock. Here's the freshman, Micah Peavy. But in the latter part, turned into a turnover. Here's a steal by Shannon. Gives it up. You have to run if you're a part of Texas Tech's ball club because your teammate will find you. You've talked about it, Rich. They go take a good shot and find a bet for Harris to lead the Cyclones. Well, yeah, and I, I want to follow up on that. PV. Get something done, though. If they want to get wins, they've got it. They, their offense is really not the issue. It's the defense. Raiders have ten or more points, and Chris Beard said to us earlier today, his goal is to get five or six guys. Here's Santos Silva. Take From McClung, that's his third field goal of the second half. Rich, I think Texas Tech has room to even get part of that has been not taking a lot of shots, but when you find the right mix and balance, each guy getting his looks, boy, it makes the team that much more to do certain things to feel good about themselves. I think McClung has to score, even though we've seen.
I think Smith was a little surprised himself. <laughs> he held up his hands and looked at the bench. Yeah, you. Nine Red Raiders in the scoring column right now with four minutes to go. It's been all Texas Tech in the second half. Would not be surprised if Ty Larson makes an appearance in this game. And there it's a poked away. And Harris can't finish at the other end. The rebound.